Of all the things in your desk setup, cable management might not seem like the most exciting thing to spend money on. But when you see the final result of a well-managed desk, the price is always justified. In this video, I'll show you five different $50 fixes, so you can choose the best one to fit your needs. I'm leading off with an updated version from my popular video $50 cable management fix. This time I'm replacing the 2-inch ZO cable raceway with a QU-Bang 3-inch rack. This is an improved option first of all because it's larger than both options from ZO. It's also more rigid and easy to use once it's installed. Since this product is meant to be mounted onto a server rack, you'll need to DIY attaching it to your desk. The simplest solution is to use double-sided tape on the top of the rack. Another option is to screw it onto the bottom of your desk. Here's where the DIY comes in. There will be a little gap between the rack and your desk surface that will need to be filled. I use some spacers that came with a monitor mount, but a stack of washers or maybe a nut will also work just fine. I found the best way to use these is to mount a power strip behind them, then route the cables in and through the openings. I typically hook a segment of the cable through a tooth in the rack to hold it in place while I'm adding all of the other cables. I also used a Hebza cable management kit from Amazon to manage all the cables traveling in and out of the racks. There are certain items in this kit I would never use, but with such a low price, I still feel confident I'm getting a good value. There might be some cleaner looking options on this list, but it's hard to beat the value of this combo. After trying a lot of different cable trays from Amazon, the Daily Sleek set stands out as one of the most premium options. I've used the PAMO trays in several projects, and while they are great quality, my preference leans towards the cleaner look with less openings. The Sleek Daily trays give you that flat surface to hide your cables behind. To mount these trays on your desk, you have the option to either use the provided double-sided adhesive or screws. If you choose to drill these onto your desk, you'll need an extension on your drill. Once installed, I actually preferred the adhesive route. When screwed in, the trays had too much play, allowing them to rattle around. They also include 10 cable ties, which will help you bundle up the longer cables as you add them inside your tray. To manage my vertical cables, as well as route the speaker cables through the trays, I added a set of Tidy Helper cable management clips. Having a set of two trays gives you the ability to leave a gap for your monitor mount. Even though this gap does break the clean look, it's a necessity in some situations. An alternative product that will give you one solid tray is our BTOD wire management tray. The BTOD tray comes in four sizes, allowing you to match the tray to your desk size. The next fix will get your cables down to the floor and well organized. For some of you, your desk setup doesn't allow you to attach all the cables to the bottom of your desk or maybe you just prefer to keep your desk as lean as possible. Even when the goal is to get most of the cables down to the floor, you'll still need to do a lot of management up at the desk level. Some of my power cables aren't long enough to make it down to the floor, so I attached a small power strip under my desk. To get these cables nice and tidy, I again used the $11 Hebza kit from Amazon. This kit has many small clips and holders to manage the cables coming off the back of the desk and it can also hold the small bundles on the bottom of my work surface. With the top level taken care of, I used an Alex Tech wire sleeve to bring the long cables down to the floor. The sleeve makes multiple cables look like one solid unit. I then routed everything into the Orico power strip box. I've purchased several of these cable boxes in the past, and honestly, they're very similar to each other. The main things that distinguish them from each other are how many openings they have and how easy are they to open and close. Personally, I would just look for the box that you like the look of the best and then make sure it has enough openings for what you want to do with it. The Orico box easily fit my additional power strip and had plenty of openings. My cable sleeve fit right inside, giving it a super clean look. If you have a white desk setup and you want your cable management to match, the Monoprice desk trays are a great option. Right now, you can buy the trays for $9 a piece on Monoprice's website. I've always liked this product because even at its typical price of $18, it's one of the best coverage per price options. At $9, you definitely won't find another metal tray that's 24 inches long. The only caveat is that Monoprice only makes this tray in white. There are a handful of all-white cable management products that you can add to go along with these trays. The need for white clips and a white cable sleeve will depend on if the legs of your desk are white. 
One thing to consider, just because the brand lists their product as white, it doesn't mean it will match all the other white products. You may or may not be picky about this. I definitely am. So I chose to use a Hebza kit with all the black items rather than the white products that I had purchased. The mono price tray will fit the average size power strip inside, but I recommend measuring your power strip and being sure that it will fit the inside dimensions of this tray. At about three inches wide, it is a little more narrow than the average tray. The best thing about using two mono price trays is that when installed up against each other, you will have four feet of solid coverage to hide your cables behind. I finally found a one product do it all option and it's right at the $50 price point. The ultimate setup under desk cable tray is essentially a box that hangs from your desk to hold your power strip and cables. They make installation relatively easy by giving you a template on the actual tray to help you line up where the hanging brackets need to go. Once assembled, you can let the tray swing open from one side while you load up all your cables. I had no issue fitting all my cables inside the tray. But since the walls are not super high, you will be able to see some of the cables sticking up over the sides. Spending more time to bundle these up tight might fix this issue. Ultimate setup includes a variety of cable holders and clips. I found they provided enough for me to take care of all of the cleaning up of cables coming to and from the tray. One thing to keep in mind with this tray, and really any other full length cable product, is that they may be in the way of your monitor clamp or grommet mount. So before you purchase, make sure this won't be an issue for your desk. The convenience factor of the one product solution is quite nice. I also like how easy it is to add and remove items from the box. Now, if you are able to stretch your budget a little higher, there's definitely nicer options out there.